How you doing? Thank you for tuning in to this here video presentation by Mr. Larry Whittington, or as he want to be known, Mr. Witt. Mr. Whittington knows all about mathematics, and that is why he founded the Fort Bend Tutorings. Today we're going to learn about word problems. Not the kind where you curse people out, but the mathematical kinds. The kind I don't be understanding at all. Alright, get your ink pen and your pencil ready. Take notes, because you're finna learn from Mr. Witt. This is Larry Whittington with Fort Bend Tutoring and today's tutorial is going to be about work word problems ladies and gentlemen and we're going to start by talking about the work formula. All right, here it is right here. Work is equivalent to rate times time ladies and gentlemen. Work equals to R times T. R is the rate, T is the time and this is what we'll be using to solve our work word problems today. Let's take a look at problem number one. In problem number one, we have Anna can clean the house in nine hours while Gloria needs six hours. How long will it take them to clean the house if they work together? Well, I have a special surprise for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to work this problem out the way I normally do, and then I'm going to show you a shortcut. All right? Now, the shortcut can only be used for problems that are written just like this. So please pay attention to the format of it when you're using your shortcut. Otherwise, this is how we work it out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be starting with my table first. And in my table, I'll start with my columns by labeling them as R for the rate, T for the time, is going to equal to the job being done, the work. I know that I have two people working here. I have Anna and I also have Gloria. All right. And then, of course, I have them working together. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's check it out. We know that what they're doing is cleaning one house. Therefore, the job being done is just one. It's just one house that needs to be cleaned. So therefore, the job is one. Work equals to one when you're doing one job, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We also know that it takes Anna nine hours to clean the house, whereas it takes Gloria six hours. All right. What I don't know is how long it takes for them to clean the house together. So that's going to be my variable X. When it comes to working out your rate, ladies and gentlemen, your rate is always going to be the work divided by the time. For instance, if I take my work formula, let's take a look at that. It will look like this. I know that work equals to the rate times time. So therefore, if I'm solving for the rate, I will need to divide both sides by T. Therefore, I end up with my rate being equal to the work divided by time. And this is going to be the quotient that I use to find out what the rate is. So let's go back to our problem number one here. So therefore, for Anna, since I solved that rate is equivalent to work divided by time, and I'll even make reference to that right here, that work is equal to work divided by time, that is going to be 1 divided by 9. So Anna's rate is 1 ninth. Okay. In other words, she can clean one house in nine hours. Then for Gloria, her rate will be one six. And then finally together, the rate is going to be one over X. It'll be this first column that we use for our equation. In other words, it'll be written as one ninth plus one six will equal to one over X. And this is going to be the equation for problem number one. In order to solve my equation, I'm going to multiply each and every term by the common denominator. My common denominator for 9, 6, and x is going to be 18x. So I'll multiply each and every term by 18x. Which equals to 18x times 1 over x. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So therefore, simplifying this, I know that 9 goes into 18 twice. So I'll end up with 2x plus 6 goes into 18 three times. So this gives me 3x. And now the X's cancel out here to leave me with 18. So the next thing I'll do is combine my like terms. I know that 2X plus 3X will equal to 5X and 5X equals to 18. Once I have this, ladies and gentlemen, I will then divide both sides by 5. And so therefore, X equals to 18 fifths hours, ladies and gentlemen. Or in other words, this is going to equal to 3 and three-fifths hours. All right, so that's how long it'll take Anna and Gloria to clean the house 
together. So that's the answer to our problem. Now I did promise you ladies and gentlemen that I would give you a shortcut to solve the same type of problem. I'll be taking the product of Anna and Gloria's time, so in other words 9 times 6, and dividing that by the sum of Anna and Gloria's time, which is going to be 9 plus 6. You'll end up with 54 divided by 15. Simplifying both of these numbers by three, ladies and gentlemen, you'll end up with 18 fifths, which is once again, the amount of time it takes both of them to equal together. So therefore, instead of doing the table, instead of solving for the equation, all you do is multiply their times together, divided by the sum of their times. So nine times six is 54, nine plus six is 15. You simplify that, you got the answer and done. You want the mixed number I gave you earlier, all you have to do is say 5 goes into 18 three times, and it leaves you with 3 left over, the divisor of 5, and there's your 3 and 3 fifths hours, and once again, you end up with the same exact result. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the format of that question has to be done the exact same way to use this shortcut. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, there's your bonus for watching this video. All right, let's go on to the next problem. In problem number two, an inlet pipe can fill Tahira's pool in five hours, while an outlet pipe can empty it in eight hours. By mistake, Tahira left both pipes open. How long did it take to fill the pool? So how many pools are we dealing with, ladies and gentlemen? We're dealing with one pool, so that's going to be the work amount. So first of all, I have my rate, my time, and the job being done. The job being done is filling up one pool. So that's going to be once all the way down. Now we know that we have an inlet pipe that's going to be able to fill to here's pool. So this is going to be my inlet pipe that works that way. I have an outlet pipe and by mistake these things will be working together. All right just like so ladies and gentlemen. I know the time that it takes the inlet pipe to fill the pool is five hours. So that time will be five. I also know that the outlet pipe will be able to empty the pool in eight hours. All right. And then I want to know how long it takes to fill the pool if these two things are working together. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, remember my rate is going to be equivalent to the work divided by the time. So therefore, the rate for the inlet pipe is going to be one divided by five, which is one fifth. The rate for the outlet pipe is going to be one divided by eight, which is one eighth. And I know that working together, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be 1 over x. Now, knowing that the inlet pipe will be filling the pool faster than the outlet pipe will be emptying it, we'll need to take the difference of these two until the pool is filled. So since we're pouring in water faster than we're emptying the water, the pool will still fill up with water eventually. It's just going to take a lot longer. So we'll need to take the difference of these two. So we'll say that 1 fifth minus 1 eighth will equal to 1 over x. So this will be the equation that I need for this problem. Solving our equation, I'm going to multiply each and every term by the common denominator, which is going to be 40x. So this is going to be 40x times 1 fifth minus 40x times 1 eighth equals to 40x times 1 over x. Simplifying the equation, we know that 5 will go on to 48 times, so this gives me 8x minus 8 goes into 45 times so this gives me 5x and this is going to equal to 40 just like so now simplifying this ladies and gentlemen you'll have 8x minus 5x that gives you 3x which equals to 40 dividing both sides by 3 you'll end up with x equals to 40 thirds hours ladies and gentlemen or in other words this is going to give you 13 and a third hours in order to fill up that pool all right, and this is the answer right here, ladies and gentlemen. Done and done. Either your teacher in class will accept the 40 thirds hours or you'll convert it into a mixed number and it'll be 13 and one third hours. Done and done, ladies and gentlemen. That was problem number two. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, in problem number three we have Connie can type a report in four hours. Georgia can type the same report in three hours. How long will it take the two of them working together to type the report? So once again, I'm going to set up my table. The columns is going to be rate, time, and the job being done. The job being done is typing up one report. So therefore, that value is going to be one across the board. Then I know I have Connie and I have Georgia. And then of course, we'll have them working together. 
All right. So, therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I know that the time that it takes Connie to type the report is going to be four hours. The time that it takes Georgia to type the same report is going to be three hours, and I don't know how long it'll take them to work together, so that's going to be my variable X. Remember that the rate is equivalent to the work divided by time. So I have one-fourth for Connie's rate, I have one-third for Georgia's rate, and then their rate together is going to be one over X. It's going to be this first column that's going to create my equation here. So I'll end up with one-fourth plus one-third equals to one over X, and this is my equation. Solving my equation, I'm going to multiply each and every term by the common denominator, which is going to be 12X. So multiplying 12X times each and every term here, we'll have 12X times one-third, and this is going to equal to 12X times one over X. That's right. Now we simplify. I have four going into 12 three times, so that leaves me with three X for the first term, plus three goes into 12 four times, so this gives me four X, and this is gonna equal to my X's canceling out here, so I'll end up with 12 as my final result there. Then, combining my like terms, I know that three X plus four X is gonna give me seven X, which equals to 12, and then finally, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to divide both sides by seven here. Dividing both sides by 7, I find that X is equivalent to 12 sevenths hours, or you can go ahead and convert this into a mixed number, and it'll be 1 and 5 sevenths hours. All right. And this is going to be the time that it takes Connie and Georgia to type the report together. All right. So that's the answer to problem number 3. All right. Let's take a look at the next one. In problem number four, we have the following problem, ladies and gentlemen. It says, it takes 12 hours for five workers to complete a certain job. The number of hours varies inversely as the number of workers. How long would it take two workers to do the same job? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a variation problem, and more specifically, an inverse variation problem. Normally, you would use the formula y equals to k over x in order to solve an inverse variation problem, with k being the constant of variation. But since we have this word problem, I'm going to define this as the number of hours is going to be equal to our constant of variation divided by the number of workers here. So therefore, I can start out by finding out what this constant of variation is by plugging in the values H and W. The word problem gives us a standard and that's what we begin with. We know that it takes 12 hours to complete a job when we have five workers. So we can solve for our constant of variation by multiplying both sides by five. So doing just that, we'll have five times 12, which equals to five times K over five. The files will cancel out to find out that my value of K is gonna be equal to 60. Using 60 as my constant of variation, I can rewrite my variation equation as h equals to 60 divided by w. The question then asks, how long would it take two workers to do the same job? Plugging in this value of two for our number of workers, we'll have 60 divided by two to find that it takes 30 hours to complete that job with only two workers. And this is the answer, ladies and gentlemen. Done and done. So ladies and gentlemen, this completes today's lesson on work word problems, and we gave you quite a few. We gave you a shortcut, we talked about inlet pipes, and we also had an inverse variation problem, all rolled in one. This is Mr. Witt asking you to rate, comment, and subscribe, and as always, if you're able, please donate. Peace. We're going to be learning about such things as linear, quadratics, system of equations, tables, mixtures, work, oh lord, distance, interest, of which I don't have much, investment. This is my favorite one. I'm going to name my grandbaby consecutive integers, <laughs> algebraic translations, and percents. I understand a little bit about my sense. I know that 50% off is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs>